Justices, Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. Lawmakers in Greece are voting on a new round of sweeping austerity measures amidst a general strike that's brought tens of thousands into the streets. International lenders have demanded the $40 billion package of spending cuts, tax increases and privatizations as a condition for a massive bailout to avert the Eurozone's first default. But the austerity plan has sparked uproar in Greece over what opponents call the selling off of their country. Riot police have fired volleys of tear gas, smoke bombs, stun grenades in a bid to clear the masses of Greek protesters surrounding the parliament in Athens. The chaotic standoff began Tuesday when police stormed the adjacent Syntagma Square, where demonstrators have camped for over a month. Well, Democracy Now! producer Aaron Mate and videographer Hani Masood are in Athens and were there just as the unrest broke out. They filed this report. We're walking towards Syntagma Square. You can hear explosions pretty close by. The tear gas is overpowering. People have bandanas and water to help their faces. As we're getting closer, there's riot police and people running down. Obviously, what's going on now is a full-on confrontation in the streets of Athens. Uh, people are really angry over these austerity measures, and uh, it's come to a head. Uh, we're being told by protesters that they were gathered in Syntagma, as they have been for the past month. They say they were rushed, unprovoked, by police. Uh, and uh, it's now spilled out into the surrounding streets. So why are you protesting? Because the, the new policy the, the, with the IMF and uh, all the, the decisions that they are taken uh, are against us. We don't have jobs. We don't have... Uh, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have any... You know, insurance, uh, hospitals, nothing. They want everyone, everything to be sold. The government is uh, preparing to give a vote inside the parliament in the new memorandum, in the new uh, all the uh, consequences that are coming because of the new agreement with the Troika, IMF, uh, European Bank, and the rest. Um, what is happening right now? It is that. Uh, Five hours after the demonstration has ended on Sidagma Square, we are still having people around Sidagma Square trying to remain in place because they feel that there is an obvious threat, uh, the police, to take the square and finish uh, in this way this occupation. <laughs> This has been going on all day. Uh, the police have fired tear gas repeatedly, but people are keep coming back. The tear gas is still very powerful, powerful in the air, and now chants are getting louder. So what's happening now? Uh, we, we think that uh, maybe the police have uh, taken the uh, square, yeah. so we have to take it back. Take the square back? Yes. Protesters are defiant. They're not leaving, even though police have fired multiple rounds of tear gas and smoke bombs. Now we're seeing more riot pol police deploy. It's looking like they're going to set up more tear gas. We're right by a new stand-up with the riot police. As you can see, they're everywhere. They're assembled in front of the parliament. They're in different locations. All have gas masks, and they've fired a lot of tear gas, and looks like they're ready to fire more. But these protesters are defiant. Their message is that they've had this square for a month, and they're not, they're not going to give it up now. For 800 euros per month, those serpents in the grass, they sell our, our country. They sell our national dignity. They have signed away our, the ability to defend our, our constitution. <laughs> Police are approaching us right now. We're, we're in between this group of police and protesters that are undeterred, refusing to give up their square, and the standoff continues. We've just avoided a, a line of riot police that were firing tear gas at a group of protesters, trying to push them away from the square. We're going to go back as protesters refuse to leave, still trying to hold the 
the center of their protest, the heart of their protest, where they've been for over a month. And now today, uh, as a general strike gets underway, police have tried to disperse them, but uh, these people are refusing to leave. They're adamant, they're chanting. The students, the workers must go on together. And here I'm holding the remnants of a tear gas canister that's made in the USA by a company in Pennsylvania. They've been fired everywhere. They're littered across these streets amongst the debris. They, they want the people back in their homes so they can pass the law that they want. All the laws that they want. Now, they want you to leave the square. Yes, yes, they want to leave the square. That's right. Are you going to leave? Uh, me, no. I'm not going to leave. No. Until uh, tomorrow night, they are going to they are going to vote for the program. Uh, I don't know the word in English, middle uh, something. But I'm, I'm not going to leave the square until uh, the government falls or uh, there will be elections or uh, whatever. I don't know. So the police now are backing up just a little from their standoff uh, right next to the heart of Santagma Square. What, what, what were you saying? I'm calling them to retreat because when they are here, they provoke the people and it is obvious that this will continue to happen. We don't know, we don't want dead among them, among them or among us. We want it to stop now, peacefully. We try since this morning. They are provoking. They are, they are entering the square. They are entering between the people. The people is provoked and we have all what, all what you see. We want it to end now. We are peaceful. Look at this. Film this. Look who, who we are. With our civilization, we are trying to throw them away. So now what is seen here? Protesters are now standing up to police, pleading for them to stop, stop. And look, now protesters are saying, stop throwing stuff, stop throwing bottles. Stop throwing bottles. They're trying to calm the situation down. It's a remarkable scene. They're asking for no, no, no objects to be thrown at police. They're saying, don't throw anything. Don't throw anything. They're chanting and clapping, and they're asking them to leave the square. And now police are backing up. The police are backing up. are backing up. They're chanting. And with their chanting, the police are retreating. The police are retreating back into the parliament. And the protesters at the front have this very organized. There's a front line trying to calm everyone down. And now look at the, the protesters have backed up the police peacefully. They've stopped other protesters from throwing bottles. You can see nothing's being thrown now. And now they're clapping as the police walk away back into the parliament. They're applauding the police as they walk away. What are you saying? What are you saying? It's very, very important to uh, to throw out the, the, the police and not by using stones because not because I'm totally uh, against the violence, but because I believe that okay, if you, we have to be very, very organized to do it because they are stronger than us. So it's very, very important to do it massively and very, very you know it's not exactly peacefully. It's a, another kind of violence. It's emotional, emotional violence. Mm. Violent. We try to do it by moving inside, in front, in front, in front. We were in the front, in the last uh, level, let's say so, of the of the square, and trying to moving back, 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 back. And as you saw, they did it. Okay, they they moved back. They moved back, and they were back in the, their holes. <laughs> we hope. We don't uh, want something special. We want our lives. So we ask about that. Give my, our lives back. We, because we are young, so we have got dreams. 
we thought that not only now and for the other 20 or 30 years. How I came a family with all that? It's unpointless. And it's not only here in Greece, all Europe is like that. We're walking down to the square just a short while ago. This place was chaos. There was tear gas everywhere and police controlled this street. But now, defiantly, protesters have taken it back by chanting and refusing to leave. And now, as we come across the square, we can see it's, uh, it's back to normal. Cleanup effort has begun. People are forming these long lines, starting at the water fountain, and they're passing these bottles down the line, up into the streets to pour on the ground to get rid of the tear gas. There's a lot of dust because of the gases the police threw at us before, and because of the air, the dust goes up in the air again, so we have to clean the street so we can stay here all night. Today, when we back the police, uh, back the police off, we all felt very proud and strong and, uh, and united, and uh, we all feel that together we can accomplish many things. I hope this will never happen again, but this is the, their only, their only, choice, their only way to, to tear us apart, to, make us leave, to make us go back to our houses, sit, sit on our couches and just believe whatever they say and uh, accept whatever they, cho they choose. This is the first time in my life, I'm 26 years old, that uh, all Greek, uh, Greek people, and not only Greek people, but only, uh, also immigrants, uh, we're all so united and we, we, are, we want the same things and we fight for the same things together. What do you want to tell the people of the United States? Well, obviously we need the solidarity of uh, working class people and youth around the globe and from the United States too. Uh, we are aware of the heroic struggle in Wisconsin, United States, uh, recently, uh, with a huge and a very massive movement uh, resisting in the attacks and the cuts the, that the American federal government and the federal government is organizing against American people, too. We believe that uh, the austerity packages uh, and the attacks and the cuts, in reality, uh, I mean, what we face is that there is no place in the globe where working class people and youth is not facing attacks uh, or cuts in their living standards. What we would like to say is that uh, the only way to make them to back off and stop the cuts and the attacks and the austerity packages is only by uh, struggling. And this includes everything, strikes, demonstrations, occupations of central squares and uniting the different movements around the globe. Protesters stood down tear gas and smoke bombs and retook the square, forcing the police to retreat. As you can see behind me, now they're just guarding the gates of parliament. But tensions are still high. Protesters have now come up to the barricades and are chanting, livid over what's happening inside with the vote set to happen on a new round of austerity measures. So although today saw a victory for this protest movement, in retaking their square, filling it with people after it was filled with tear gas. There's no doubt that this protest and this struggle continues. For Democracy Now!, I'm Aaron Maté with Hany Massoud in Athens.